Hello YouTubers, this is a simulator man and um, I thought I'd bring you another OMSI video but this time I'm going to do like a like a tutorial on, on how to um, sound mod or should I say basically I'm going to be moving sounds from one bus onto another one basically you can do this with any buses to be fair so if I show you now and how to do it so basically I'm going to do what someone said to me they both they've spoken to me over Discord, so they want so um I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So basically you wanna um go into where all your buses are, into your OMSI vehicles. Then um what I'm going to do is someone what they've said is um what they want. Let me mod that down because I've got I've got so many OMSI installs on this, it's mad. I've got two, multiple ones. I've got an OMSI that's like a normal OMSI and they've got the OMSI UK version. So I've just divided them so my OMSI can boot up a lot quicker. Because otherwise, if you have it all in one install, it, it just takes forever to it to um to just, just boot up. And I thought, well, I just can't be waiting. So, yeah, for example, yeah, I've done it in Viro 500. Go into there, go into the sounds folder, and what you want to do is copy all of them. So, Control A on your keyboard, for example, I'm running Windows, for example, I think everybody is, to be fair. Control A, and then Control C on your keyboard. And then, what you want to do is minimize that down, and I'm going to swap sounds with my Enviro 400 M. CC, the one that you have to pay for. Well, we could do it with the normal. I guess you could do it with the normal one, the normal Enviro 400. If you've got that, the free one. So go into the MMC, go into the sounds folder, and what you want to do is control paste it in there. It's what you copied over. It will say, do you want to over replace? So just hit yes. Now what you want to do is going back into your um, Enviro 400 MMC and then what you want to do, for, for me for example, I'll just copy over the ZF one for example and then what you want to do is Control C, Control V go into that you can either use Notepad normally or just is it Notepad++ plus plus? Because I've already done it, you can imagine, look, see, like, copy, 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 there, yeah, see? And what I've done is, um, actually, no, I'm not going to do that one. Do, 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 that one. Control C, Control V. And then I'm going to copy two. There we go. And I can rename this to everything I like. So, I don't know. Uh, call it, I don't know. Trying to think. If I get rid of that, for example, to so tap to that, so you can call it E four hundred space MMC space. I don't know hybrid sounds. Control uh, file save. There you go. For now, just keep on saving. So what you want to do now. Minimise that down. Go into your uh, Enviro 500 sound file. So I need to find that. There you go. 500. Open up the bus file. Get rid of that. You don't need that no more. And then what you want to do is scroll to the ERC. Sound, sound underscore ATA dot config. And then you want to copy the sound dot slash sound. Is that S? SDAT underscore AI dot config into the other one that you've got here, which is in uh, uh, Enviro 400 MMC. So basically, all you do is just copy in this bit here, sound, control C on the keyboard, go over here, get rid of that, control V, and then sign again for the AI. Control C, 
and then paste it over here. Get rid of that. Control V. And then file save. So if you think about it, all of these config files are doing are looking at the sounds file in the sounds folder. So basically, if you know, if you can, you can possibly read, you can read these configs in the uh, notepad anyway. And then if you configure it yourself, knowing what, what the engine files, startup sounds and um, when it's idle, you can figure out when it's idle, you can figure out the low, and then it's normally, it's normally uh, low, low mid, then mid, then mid high, then high, and then your engine sounds are like that in that format and then every sound format is in a WAV and not an MP3. So you can make sure like every single WAV that you capture like in like in real life you could just capture them in um like on the sound recording just make sure that, that, that they're in a WAV format not MP3 because it won't work. So that's that done. So now if I boot up into OMSI so I don't need that no more, that can go away. Boot into OMSI. Now my OMSI boots up different if you, when you watch. So so saying OMSI it comes up simulator man. So like, oh okay. So if I just give it a minute or two to boot up. If I had loads of more install if I'd loads it all in a one install, I'd be waiting for five to ten minutes for OMSI just to boot up and I thought it's a joke. And even though that's running on an SSD drive as well. So here we go. Try to. See, mine's ain't similar to man up there. You can you can do that if you go into um your uh, GUI eye files. Um in OMSI 2, then you go into uh GUI eye. And then you can just paste it whatever you like. Let's go into notepad. I mean into paint and just Call it whatever you like. You don't have to, it's just me being creative, you could say. So if I change the daytime, now what we do, get rid of that. Load the game with buses. Because sometimes if you load the top one, sometimes it'll just crash. I'm not well, ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, six o'clock in the morning. Now I'll change it to twelve. Start. I'm hoping to bring out an Omsi 3, but they won't, I don't think. Because so, I remember only two, I think it's two German guys that made this. So I doubt it, doll. You know. Unless the community all get together and try and make a number three. Somehow. If someone knows how to do it. That'd be interesting. Right, so now, if once Omsi loads, so now we've got to find the bus that we just created. Sometimes it might work, sometimes it might not, depending on, it's depending on what you, if OMSI can see it, it in the bus file, but it comes under the friendly name, just call it what you like, and then hopefully OMSI will see it. And there's that bus that comes late. Some buses you can mod, some you can't, some you can mod the swap, some you can't. For example, that one there, you can't do nothing with that. But the other one, you can. Because I tried that the other day and it, it goes really, really fast. Really, really fast what I've done with that now. It's like I've done it to a metro bus as well. I made it go over 120 kilometers km an hour or whatever it is. Kilometers an hour. So that's, I think that's about 100 miles an hour. I'm not too sure. It's really, really fast. So here we go. If we go, if we scroll down to, um, Studio Polygon. So basically, you just want to find your, and then type, if it is one, and then you find it whatever you called it. It's up for me, for example, I could call it Enviro 400 uh, MMC Hybrid. You just have to wait for a while for it to load up. I'm not too sure what it does in this box. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it, it, it's on Z, you know, you know, you're like, it, you have to grin and bear with this. So now if I try and find it, oh, there's a buff hybrid there. 
I'm going to have to have what I created earlier. No in there. Sorry. Okay. I've got a good feeling. Loaded properly. Oh, here we go. I might have tried the one that I loaded earlier. It's interesting, it loaded. Hey, bizarre. Is that? Hey, bizarre. Is that? I don't understand. Some, some, some it loads. Sometimes it don't. You have to grim and bear with it sometimes. Well, I tried one. Maybe this. Hey. I just saw it a minute ago. Come on, where are you? Left turn drive. I saw a buff one as well. I like the buff ones. Well, yeah. 408H. H stands for, I put H stands for hybrid, so you know. Give this a chance to load. ZF always works. I try to buff ones, it's like, well, nah, I'm not loading. So, give this a chance to load. Here we go. Come on, I know you want to. Oh, here we go, sorry. Six, okay. And click okay again. I just think of all the bushes you can dot, you know, miles and stuff. I was thinking of all, all the more, like the fastest bus. I'm not sure what the fastest bus is, because all I see them and Omzi, and it's like, well, which one's the fastest bus in the game? Like, and I could think to myself, oh, I wonder if I might just swap that with something else. That'd be so funny. Make the metro bus or something go even faster. I'm not sure. Click OK for that. And there we go. Enviro 400. Hallelujah. Oh, here we go. Click anything for now. MT. Yeah, that's nice. OK, get rid of that. Right, see if it starts off. Go in there. Oh, it's coming on. Lovely. So, roll. Right. Here we go. It's coming on. Hallelujah. Come on. Here we go. Lovely.
much what we die. Yeah. 